What is the one Google feature that you just can't live without? Are you struggling with ditching Google? Here are several alternatives that are more privacy centric that were actually suggested by many in the comments of my previous de-Google yourself video because that comment section on that post was on fire with follow-up questions and great tips. So let's go through them. This is part two of how to de-Google yourself. First, Proton Suite. Many of you actually pointed out that Proton isn't just for privacy centric emails anymore. And that's true. They've built out a VPN, Proton Drive for storage for your photos, documents, a calendar, password manager, and they even have something called Proton Docs. It's actually becoming a full privacy ecosystem, very comparable to a lot of the options that Google has. They have a free tier. It is limited with storage. Maps. Some of you said, I cannot leave Google Maps because of Street View. Fair point. There is an alternative called Here We Go that is privacy respecting and offers 3D maps, live traffic. It's pretty robust. Try it out. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. A lot of you had a lot to say about this. Many of you said that this is actually the hardest one to leave. I don't disagree. There are options like Revanced, SmartTube, some front-end options like NewPipe and LibreTube. I would tread lightly with these. I tend to stay away from those options. Instead, if you really want a little bit more privacy when watching YouTube, you may just want to try this workflow. Use a privacy-focused browser like Firefox with uBlock Origin. It's going to help block ads and trackers. And turn on a VPN like the Proton option to prevent any IP location snooping. Log on to YouTube using a Gmail burner account if you really want to log on. Otherwise, don't log on to YouTube and just watch. For those of you with Android phones and the Google Play Store, a lot of comments were like, how do I install apps without the Google Play Store? Great question. You can use alternatives like F-Droid or the Aurora Store. Try those. And for full privacy, some of you actually suggested changing the operating system on your Android phone to alternatives like Graphene OS instead of the stock Android. It can be done. Another option to replace Google Docs is LibreOffice. It offers a full suite of docs, sheets, and this one is free. Don't feel like you have to switch all at once. Start small. Start with replacing your Google Docs or your email. Build from there.